Today we're going to be checking out the differences between these two keyboards, the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini versus the Formac version. Now the purpose of this video isn't to compare which one is better or worse because they're both very similar, but they do have some differences that may make you want to purchase one over the other. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first difference between these two keyboards is going to be the switch options available. You can see that the regular version comes with three different switch options. You have tactile, you have linear and clicky. This is kind of like brown switches this is red and this is blue and you can click play to get a preview on what each of these sound like so with the regular version you're going to get three switch options with the for mac version you only get one switch option and that's going to be the tactile quiet which is identical to the brown switches now the next difference between these two keyboards is going to be this dongle so the regular version does come with this usb dongle that is used to connect to your computer the for mac version does not come with a dongle it only only connects via Bluetooth. So with the regular version, you can connect via the dongle or Bluetooth. And with the Fermac version, you can only connect via Bluetooth. So the next difference between these two keyboards is gonna be the cables. So with the regular version here, you're gonna get a USB-A to USB-C connection cable. And with the Fermac version, you're gonna have a USB-C to USB-C connection type method. So this is gonna be a pretty important distinction in case your computer doesn't have any USB-C or USB-A ports. Most new Mac computers don't have USB-A ports anymore. However, I will say that these cables are only meant for charging. They don't serve as a connection option on either keyboard. Now, the next difference between these two keyboards is gonna be the keycaps themselves and more specifically, the keys that are on the keyboards. On the regular version, you can see that there is gonna be a delete slash lock key at the top right. And on the for Mac version, there's gonna be a snooze slash lock key. They're pretty much going to do the same thing depending on which operating system you're on, but that's just the difference that you may want to consider. Now, the next difference between these two keyboards is going to be the color options available. With the regular version, you can only get it in this dark color. With the Formac version, you can either get it in the dark color like this or the white version. And you can see on the website here, the Formac version does come in space gray or the pale gray. Now, the next difference between these two keyboards is going to be the size options available. The Formac version is only going to be available in the mini size and if we look at the regular version we can see that it's available in the mini like we have here or the regular mx mechanical which has a number pad and some of these central utility keys have included as well and then the next difference between these two keyboards you've already seen it it's going to be the packaging so the packaging is going to be mainly for logitech to market towards the mac users so mac users can start using logitech products if someone went into the apple store and saw something like this they probably would think it's not compatible with Macs very well and it might start glitching out and whatnot. However, that's not the case. Logitech just has a more darker brand color by default, but the Formac lineup products are designed to look like they're designed for Apple. Both of these keyboards are essentially the same thing. They function very similarly and you can't go wrong with either of these on either device. On Windows, the Formac version is gonna work just fine in terms of software compatibility and vice versa. The regular version is gonna work just fine on Mac or Windows. So both of them are cross compatible on either platform. So those are the main differences between these two keyboards. If you wanna see a dedicated review video on either of these keyboards, be sure to click the videos up here. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.